Now, before we start, I want you to think of a question. You know, many of us have, I have so many questions at one given time, but at least one question you all must be having for which you have been searching for the answer. If you don't have any question, just think what suggestion you would like to get to make your life smooth or better or whatever. So either a question, which I've been searching the answer for long or a suggestion, okay? So if you have a question, frame that question in your mind. Take a few moments and frame the question in your mind properly. Keep it in your mind in one corner. We'll come back to that later. Okay, now you can take a comfortable position. Keep your back completely straight. You can either sit or lie down. Make sure you're not driving any vehicle or running any machinery. And take some deep breaths. As you breathe in, feel the relaxation going into your body. And as you breathe out, let all the stress and strain and tension leave your body. As you're taking these comfortable deep breaths and listening to my voice, you can feel the relaxation spreading into your body. A very comfortable, relaxed body. And with every breath, this relaxation is just deepening. Every breath that you take in is taking this relaxation deep into your body. And every breath that goes out is removing all distress and strain and tension from your body. Bring your attention to the top of your head and feel this relaxation slowly and steadily going down through all parts of your body through the face, through the back of your head, coming to the neck and shoulders, going down through your hands to the fingertips. This relaxation, which is increasing in depth with every inhalation and every exhalation, removing all the stress and strain and tension from your body. Now feel it going through the chest region and the abdomen, the skin, the muscles, the bones, and the organs inside. Every cell going into a deeply relaxed state. Imagine it going down through your hips to the thighs, the knee joints, calves, ankles, and the feet. Every single cell of your body is gone into this deeply, deeply relaxed state. In this deeply relaxed state, everything that I say remains your reality. And you will accept that in your body, mind, at the molecular, cellular, and neuronal levels. I'll be talking to your subconscious mind. The conscious mind can decide to stay here or wander anywhere it would you like to. That's perfectly all right. Breathing in relaxation and breathing out all the stress, any remaining stress from any corner of your body, just allow it to leave the body. In this deeply relaxed state, I want you to imagine five steps in front of you. When I count from five to one, you're going to descend those steps. Get ready. 
five. I stepped on to the uppermost step. Four. Feel the step under your foot. Is it warm or cold? Three. Two. And one. You cl climb down all those steps. As you look around, you see a beautiful garden and there's a huge, magnificent door in front of you, a wooden door. Look at those beautiful carvings on the door. And then you notice you can open the door. Gently open that door and go beyond. You see there's a huge open air theater there. Beautiful, comfortable chairs are there in that theater. And you're going to sit on one of those chairs and you notice all of us, all the participants for this meditation, they all are sitting in those chairs. All of us are there inside. And we are all sitting on those chairs. And then a huge screen appear in front of you. The screen is one. But the movie you'll be seeing will be your own movie. Each one will be seeing a different movie. You are comfortably settled onto that chair and then the screen lights up. It's a huge screen. As you look at the screen, on the upper left area, slowly a figure is appearing. That's your first guru. It may be your mother or maybe a mother figure. Look at that glowing face. Think of all the guidances that you received from that figure, either mother or a mother figure. Many times you may have thought that she's not talking sense, but in later years you found that was coming from years of her own experience. Fill up your mind with gratitude for all those guidances you were given for many years. Now, on the upper right side of the screen, another figure is slowly appearing. Your second guru, maybe your father or a father figure. Maybe he gave you very crucial and important advices or he didn't behave the way you expected him to behave, but even they were lessons. You learned from all those lessons. So he was acting as a guru. So think of all the experiences which help you to evolve to a better human being by learning all those lessons and bringing deep gratitude into your mind. Now, as you look at the screen, on the left lower area, 
maybe one or many faces start appearing. Our third guru is our teacher. Maybe your primary school teacher, high school teacher, teachers who taught you in college, in your professional college, any of them who enriched your life with nuances of knowledge, all their faces are appearing. They had a tremendous soul in making you what you are today. And they really deserve very deep gratitude from you. Fill your heart totally with deep gratitude for them. Now on the right lower side, you can see many books appearing. All those books when you read, there were many points that struck your mind and made a shift in your life. So many books appearing there. You have spent years reading them, absorbing the knowledge, and bringing them practically into your life. Bring in gratitude for those books and, and also the authors who wrote those books. Thank them from the bottom of your heart. So on the screen now, you can see your first guru, the mother or a mother figure. Second guru, father or a father figure. Your teachers and all those books that contributed to your knowledge and wisdom. And now slowly, all these start disappearing from the screen. And as they start disappearing, a bright light starts happening in the center of the screen. And slowly, as it comes into focus, you see a rotating giant planet. That is the Jupiter. You can see brown and orange bands with white cloud stripes. Jupiter is the symbol of knowledge, wisdom, optimism, greatness, and kindness. Astrologers named Jupiter after Brahaspati, who is the religious teacher of gods, and it's often called Guru. The energy coming from the collective intelligences of the celestial giant will expand your view of things and stimulate positive action. So keep watching that rotating celestial giant and be open to absorb all the knowledge and wisdom it's emanating. Beautiful, brilliant, 
gigantic planet. Can you feel the energy just throwing out? Be totally open. And as you keep watching, it's slowly shrinking in size. In front of your eyes, on that huge screen, Jupiter is shrinking in size. It's a minuscule figure now. Does it have any color now? It's still rotating. And as you keep watching, it's coming towards you. It's coming towards you slowly, slowly. And it's getting integrated into yourself. Feel yourself now. Can you notice any difference in your whole body or in a particular part of your body? You feel any vibrations, any warmth, a throbbing sensation or a sensation of cold? Just acknowledge whatever you're feeling. And remember, your guru is inside you. Your guru is inside you. Incorporate and integrate this information into your psyche. You may come across outer manifestations of this inner guru, but always remember the source is within you. So I'll give some moments of silence for this profound truth to sink in deeply into you. The source is within you. Now, as you watch, the light from that screen is disappearing. You can slowly get up and walk towards that magnificent door through which you entered this open air theater. Open that door and come out. And as you're standing there, looking at those five steps through which you descended down, as you're standing there, think of that question which you had when you started. Do you get an answer? I'll give you some moments to think whether you're getting this answer or you're getting any suggestion. It may just drop into your mind. Don't try to think. Just be open to receive anything. Okay, you may have got the answer or the, any suggestion. If not, be open for the next several days because suddenly it may <clears throat> drop down into your mind 
or you may get it in your dream. Just be open. Now you can slowly walk towards those steps. And when I count from one to five, again, climb those stairs. One, two, <clears throat> three, four, and five. So this knowledge which you have gained is a part of you and there is nothing you can do about that. It's deeply ingrained within you. Now slowly again, come back to the present and now. Take your time. Take three deep breaths. And when you think you are ready and you know you are ready, you can gently open your eyes.